Hey V Squad, and welcome back to another video. There has always been, and right now there is also, a lot of speculations about I Am Santa and if she's a scammer or not. A lot of people are saying that she's a scammer. In my opinion, she's not a scammer, and no, I'm not defending her in any way, shape, or form. I can't say I'm a big fan of her, and I don't watch her videos often. But for all I could say, we do miss when she posted videos with Leah Ash. Because I for sure miss them. I remember waiting for her to post a video with Leah Ash, and I remember watching the Safari Egg premiere video. Let's get straight to the chase, though. I'm Santa is now a Roblox Adopt Me, or just Roblox YouTuber, mostly Adopt Me. She did start her channel before she started playing Adopt Me, and it was about other topics. I feel like the reason she started it was because of her boyfriend at that time, or her husband, I think boyfriend, who also was a popular YouTuber. Everyone has been saying that she's a scammer because she under adds pets. I can't say y'all are wrong. She does under add pets, but it's not scamming because the person giving her those pets, it's their fault because she didn't tell them that she's gonna like add after. It's not scamming. She's just underpaying and that's okay. If someone offered you a mega giraffe for a neon golden griffin and a neon golden dragon, would you do it? You would obviously. And that's basically what she does. If someone offers her something good like a neon parrot for three parrots, she accepts it. And so would you. You wouldn't decline and say, oh, no, but but I'm not a scammer. You would do the trade. And it's not scamming unless she promised the person something after or that's kind of like fraud. But that person was just a random trade request. And if you think to yourself, why would a full grown 23 year old woman scam people for adopt me virtual pixels? Because she wouldn't and she truly doesn't care about them. She just has a good inventory to make it look like she plays Adopt Me and just for YouTube. Kind of like me. So obviously she'd want to get better pets even if they're for giveaways or just in general. A lot of people call her I'm Scanna now and she's really not a scammer. Whenever you do trades in Adopt Me, they're not always fair. They could be either a lose for you or for the other person. Doesn't matter how big of a lose it is for you or someone else, it will still be a lose or a win. Same thing with her. I'm sure she has done a trade in the past that is probably a big lose now. It's just how the game works. If you get lucky, the other person underpays. And the person that underpaid got unlucky. Or just didn't know that much value. A lot of you say that the fact that she's a YouTuber is also bad and that she uses her platform to do that. But as I said, she didn't tell anybody to do that. It's because she has fans that want to do it. And that she accepts free pets and you guys say that it's a bad thing. Would you accept free pets? You would. And don't tell me, but I'm not a YouTuber. It doesn't matter who you are. You would still accept free pets. And if being a YouTuber gives you free pets, then why not take the opportunity? A lot of you guys actually got mad at me for taking free pets from people. And I'm not the one that tells people to give me free pets. They just give them to me. I don't ask to. And I am very grateful that you guys do that. And I'm appreciated. If I'm wrong, please comment. She really isn't a scammer in my opinion. And she didn't do anything to prove herself of a scammer. If she have ever done trust trades, there's no actual like proof of her saying that she's doing a trust trade and not giving the pet back. And I've looked at proof. It's either a fake I'm Santa or just someone else, or they're trying to frame her. I haven't seen actual like good, good proof. So for what I can say, she is not a scammer and never was for what I know. She might be scamming people in private, but I would never have that information. And you wouldn't either. If you do have information or proof that she scammed someone else, you can post it if you want me to see it. It's also common sense because a 23 year old lady or woman that is just having YouTube for fun and for money and just having fun with it wouldn't want to scam someone for a virtual pixel that's literally a pet that you can't even sell for real money. Yes, I know there's eBay, but she wouldn't sell her pets. And if she would, then you guys would see that in her inventory. Point is, she wouldn't want to sell a pet on eBay for 20 bucks and ruin her reputation on YouTube. YouTubers don't scam that often because they don't want their reputation ruined. Why would I'm Santa scam someone for that person to be recording, for that person to post it on YouTube, and for her to get cancelled? That's why some YouTubers don't take free pets, but I really don't get that as a problem. Someone could have also framed her in a way and said that she scammed. If they gave her a free pet, they, they would go out trade history and be like, Look, I'm Santa scammed me. She never gave the pet back. But in reality, they just gave it to her for free. Because that person who gave it to her for free and is trying to frame her just wants views or just really hates I'm Santa or is just jealous of her. I personally don't like the videos I'm Santa post anymore because they're just role plays and I don't like watching role plays. Wow, no way, look at this. I'm Santa is a scammer and a hacker because she would totally hack a game. And she totally knows how to hack Adopt Me, which has maximum security. If it was that easy to hack Adopt Me, then everyone would be hacking it right now.
thank God it's not. Let's see this video of this girl saying that I'm Santa scammed her. Of course, with the very, very aesthetic 2020 intro. Wow! Notice how she said for her queen bee, and she has a neon one. Keep that in mind. Said she will give her a neon turtle in return, okay? Let's see this proof that she has. That can literally be anyone who just screenshotted that Not I'm Santa sent them a trade request and then posted it somewhere. I'm going to try finding it on Google. I couldn't find it on Google, but it could be anywhere. Still doesn't mean it's her who screenshotted that. Okay, and over here it showed her giving a queen bee to not I'm Santa. Also doesn't mean that it has to be her. It also says you in the corner. It doesn't say your username on it. And it doesn't mean that it has to be you who actually put it there. <laughs> like... I only did this so I could give the winner a Neon Queen Bee instead of a normal one. Hold up! Something ain't right. If we're gonna flashback real quick to the moment where she literally has a Neon Queen Bee in her inventory and she said that she wished she could give a Neon Queen Bee instead of a normal one if she had one, and she literally has one! There it is, that Aunt Queen Bee that she wished she had, that she wished she'd give away. Also, the thing was pink, like the trade, and her um, default color is purple, as you saw in the beginning of the video, but that doesn't mean anything. As I said, she could have changed it, but I don't change my default color that often. That can seriously be Leah Ash, who gave that Neon Queen Bee when the update came out to Santa for free. And then this girl said it was her. And now she says she's giving away a King Bee instead of a Queen Bee. <laughs> so this girl just she, she just lied that I'm Santa scammed her because she doesn't want to give away a queen bee or she traded it and she wants to give away a king bee instead and she made an excuse that she got scammed oh my god y'all okay I think I know where this is all going let me try finding some proof okay so a while back the honey update came out with the queen bees and stuff and I think that she was filming, I mean, I'm, I'm Santa was filming a video of someone, Leah Ash or Moody or someone else, and that they got a queen bee and they gave it to I'm Santa. Let me try finding that. I couldn't find proof, but the point is that she could have just screenshotted the trade from a YouTube video. Anyways, comment if I'm wrong and comment more video ideas. Hashtag quest one for Vichkin is still up. I would say bye V-Squad.